Hello everyone and welcome to Stitch and Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank y'all so very much for joining me today. If you guys are new, hello. How are you? I have several newbies. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> uh, if you've been here before, thank you. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, today I have some yarn goodies to share. Um, mostly just probably some ramblings. Y'all been here, you knew this. If you're new, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> I ramble. I say that a lot, but yes. Um, before we get started, <coughs> just because normally I do this after, but whatever. Alright. Crinkle alert. Crinkle alert. <laughs> it's super hit pillow. Beautiful friend. I feel like we need like a crinkle alert song or something like blues clues whenever they got the mail you know like here's the mail it never fails makes me want to wag my tail kind of like that but like with crinkle alerts anyway <laughs> okay i am in like a next level happy mood there are fuzzes all over because it crinkles today's halloween Halloween one ween. Yay. I'm so excited if you guys have seen that episode of The Neighbors and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when they try to explain what Halloween is. It's Halloween one ween. Oh my goodness gracious. So, today is Halloween. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Am I right? So, you will probably see this after Halloween. Uh, tips to Halloween. Um, but currently it's Halloween morning. Halloween morn. And anyway, um, oh, I guess you could spell that with a U and make it extra creepy for spooky times. Oh, words are fun. Halloween morn, indeed. Especially because you're going to be seeing this after. Ooh, nice. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> Alright, so today then is Monday. Um, that means, according to the calendar anyway, that yesterday then was Sunday. So, yesterday, uh, obviously, Miss B didn't have shul, Finn didn't have to work, everyone needs a little spirit Halloween. That's kind of the whole thing. It's, tra it's tradition, I can't use words today. I'm too excited. My coffee's behind you. Excuse me. Excuse me one moment. <clears throat> I don't even have a spooky cup. I just realized this. What the heck? Not even remotely spooky. It is amazing. Not even remotely spooky, but... Mm. Okay, <laughs> anyway. Yes. Um. So yeah, Finn... I was off work, everyone was off school. The other two, aka Hubby and Squirrely Dan, took off work <laughs> and we ran away. Cause sometimes you just have to do that. And uh, we needed to do that. So we ran away to Spirit Halloween. It's like the perfect runaway plan, you know? Um, so yes, we went to Spirit Halloween, um, went to Joanne because I'm not the only crafty person in this house, so I couldn't really feel guilty. I needed to go, like, actually this time. So it's one of the few times in my life I can be like, yes, I needed the yarn. Usually there once. I'm just going to be honest. A lot of, ooh, look at this pretty color, throw it in the baskets. This time I needed the yarn, but, so I needed to go to Joanne while we were in there. Um, anyway, yes, needed to go to Joanne. So while we were in there, um, Finn got some fabric because he's crafty. Squirrely Dan got some fabric because he's crafty. He's working on his Halloween costume. Um, and yeah, like I said, I needed some yarn, but I guess, I don't know. You know what? I'll show you yarn goodies because some of you probably are here for this and not really for the rambling. So I'm just going to show you yarn goodies and then we'll ramble. Y'all can hang out or not can be up to you that way I'm not holding you hostage through random stories for yarn all right so needed the yarn so if you 
I don't know. Yes, two days ago. Like yesterday, whenever we went, I guess. So Saturday. Today's Monday. Saturday. Had my first craft fair. Was a success. Was so much fun. Um, I got a um, an order for a hat that I didn't have another one of. So I needed yarn for that. Also, I um, had an order for three bees, like small little buzz buzz amigurumi bees. And I think I have enough to make three of them. But also, I was asked if I could make a big bee. And I already have it sold pretty much at this point. Um, if we go to the one, well, if, when we go to the one this weekend, that'll be that pretty much. And um, like I said, I was, yeah, already asked about it. If not, I'm pretty sure they'll sell because I was asked by a couple people, like, do you have bigger ones? So, anywho, said needed the yarn, went in there with like, okay, I just need these three things. And one of the, the yarn that I needed the color of, they didn't have, and I don't know if they have it online, but I mean, they need to look, but they didn't have it in the store, but I got a different color and I'll get into that when we get into that, but walked in sticker shock okay like I knew yarn and went up it's like I went to Michael's about six months or so ago maybe not that long seems like it's that long probably not and was just like oh my gosh with how expensive everything is I like what whenever I went into Joanne I said the other day my craft fair thing i feel bad for charging what i charge because of what it is looking back on things i'm just gonna say it i wish i would have charged a little bit more for the hat that i have the order for because the yarn for it alone was nine dollars so there's that <laughs> so yeah um and it's a hat that i wore the other day it's not in here because I wore it in the house because, you know, um, yeah, no, it's not out here. Anyway, it's my own pattern. I'm hoping to do a tutorial with this yarn and the thing and do like a hat. That's my plan. I'm going to try really hard to get everything situated to where I can make a tutorial. I'm telling you words. It's Halloween. I can't. I'm like, get this out so we can do fun things. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but yes, so I have, like I said, the hoping to get a tutorial out to y'all for that hat. Um, but you know, anyway, yeah, it's my own pattern. The one that I had is, like I said, a different, I'm just rambling. The other one, the one that I had was, like I said, a different colorway. And I don't know. But anyway, the lady said that she really liked the greens and blues. And so I'm thinking this one, I'm going to take my hat and she can decide between the two. Because I've only worn it a couple times. So there you go. I don't know. Um, get online, see if I can find it. If not, she seemed really cool. I don't think she's going to be too concerned about it as long as it's the same situation. So, all right. So the first one I have is Lion Brand Landscapes. Um, it's this. The apple orchid is my favorite. Or apple orchard, that's what it is. Apple orchard. That's like my favorite. It's so pretty. And I have it. Mm, might be in my whip bag. Time out one more time. All right. I might have the hat. I'm thinking of it. I think I do. Because my whip bag. Yeah, I have the hat. Aha. All right. So, this is what the hat looks like and this is the yarn that I used for well this hat am I right so this is the color gossamer which is beautiful and I couldn't find it I said I'll look online or whatever but I kind of think it's discontinued I don't know I don't know but she said she really liked the blues and greens in it more than anything so but this is my hat so I will do a Hope to do a tutorial for that one. Um, so this is 
a super hip whip bag. Just saying. This is um, how much I have of the Gossamer. Not Gossamer, yes. That's how much I have of it. Which I know isn't enough for a hat. This is you know, Apple Orchard. Oh, it's so good. And I thought about making it into this one, but she didn't really say like a rainbowy. She just mentioned how she really liked the green and blues. And those are not the same. So. Maybe I could add a little bit of this one with this one. I just now had that thought. I could probably do that. There's just something on the end of it. You see grass. This went to the craft fair with me. There's a telling. Anyway, I may be able to do that and kind of add. I don't know. But all that to say. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. Anyway, back to this. Landscape, 3.5 ounces, 147 yards 134 meters 100 grams that's a medium four weight is 100 percent acrylic machine wash gentle life flat to dry um this is the color blue lagoon much like the brook shield brook shield <laughs> much like the movie i can't even words anyway yeah this is the color blue lagoon much like the movie all right so anyway um made in turkey it's just pretty it reminded me of a peacock just pretty pretty colors except for maybe that like kind of goldish color in a peacock but otherwise but those together i don't know i feel like this one's thicker than this one though i know it's kind of like roving-esque but i don't know um anyway but yeah so i have a hat to make with this one i and we're really gonna shoot for a tutorial. We will see, but just look how pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. So, okay, I have that. And then, put these back in to the lip bag. That'll be a good spot. All right, anywho. I was right in the middle of saying something and then just completely forgot. You'll ever do that, it's a fun time. All right, so yeah, that one was, um, I had my receipt, but I just have a coupon. Yeah, it was $8.99 for a blue lagoon. Wowzers. Okay, and then, so yeah, so almost $9 just for that one skein of yarn, which I know landscape's kind of pricey, but also, dang, you know, it's 147 yards. Which we'll get it, yeah, a hat, but it's making me rethink my prices, I guess. I don't know. So then for the bees. Uh, before, I used the Dollar Tree Chanel yarn. But for a bigger one, I feel like this is probably my best bet. So I got me some yarn inspirations. Some Bernat Blanket Brights. And it is indeed bright. Ooh. There-ish, yes. This is the color... School bus yellow. Yeah, pretty much. So it's 100% polyester. Uh, machine washable, dryable. It's six bulky. Suggest you use an eight millimeter hook or needle, whatever you're into. I didn't say what the other one was. Um, let's see. 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. Yes. This was eleven ninety nine for this guy right here. I know that Bernat blanket is expensive. I know this. And then they had like even thicker than this, this Bernat yarn. It was on sale for seventeen ninety nine for one skein. And then they had some cell yarn, and they had some Red Heart with Love for sale. And the sticker price for it being on sale was $5.39. It's a red heart with love, y'all. I was just like, oh my goodness. So, sticker shock. The other one I got is for that blanket. Not brights, because it doesn't need to be bright. That would be silly. In the color coal. So, tis a bee. Bee in progress. Bee in progress. So, yeah, these were both $11.99. 
So they were at 30% off. So I got them for $8.39. So for three skeins of yarn, $25.77 before tax. <laughs> I didn't even get to go to like a local yarn shop or anything cool like that. Just so everyone remembers. It was just Joanne. I mean, I love Joanne. Don't get me wrong. But that is freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Anyway, it's a hat and some bees. So, I mean, I'm going to make money back on it. So, I guess it is what it is. But I just, I'm telling you, I had straight up sticker shock. And I was like, oh, my goodness gracious. Because, I mean, I knew that the Bernat blankets were expensive. But last I remember, the landscape was like 6 or $7. I don't remember being... Let's round up $9. And then I remember that whenever we went to Michael's and stuff that like the Karen cakes and all those things were like $12.99. And so everything in there was just like, oh my goodness. I just couldn't. I'm like regular yarn, just like the big twist, which is one of my favorite. Just like a regular big twist is like $4 and $5 now, which it used to be. I mean, I paid like $1.70 something, which mine was on sale, but. It was like 380 something. It's insane. So yeah, sorry about the belly aching. It's about prices. That's really all that was. Just see my yarn, girl. That's really all that was. But anyway, so yeah, all that to say. I have a hat to make and some bees to make. So I'm going to make, um, I think like I said, I have enough of the Chanel to make the small ones that I already have sold. And I'm going to work on that here in a little bit. Um, also it's Halloween, so <laughs> anyway, as I can, I'm going to work on that. Um, and then I'm going to work on some big, got my beautiful friend pattern, Miss Jen, look up her pattern. They're not going to be strawberry ones, <laughs> I'm going to make some bees. So, um, yeah. And let's see, I have, oh, I'm so excited. I finished the gnome hat. If you guys, that's all for the yarn. Sorry, that's it. I got three skeins. That's what it is. So if you were just here for yarn. Thank you. Sorry for the belly aching. Also, wasn't it pretty? All right. Um, yes, on your ramblings. I finished the hat, the gnome hat. Well, witchy, spooky, mystical hat that I made for the lady that ordered the hat at the craft fair. I finished it, so I'm going to make a video here in just a second of the hat. Um, I hope she digs it. I don't know. It was awesome whenever she texted me back. I said, you know, she texted me or whatever, and I was like, hi, you know, working on your hat. She was like, I'm so stoked. And I was like, ah, she uses the word stoked. She's cool. So anyway, <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> anyway, got it finished, though. We said I have to make the bees in the hat. Then I'm caught up. Um, I'm going to try to make a couple more just like beanies, cute, fun beanies to take to the craft fair this weekend. Um, I don't know. Just see what I can make see what I you know have I know I'm going to change the prices on the gnome hats because I I mentioned this I don't know why but I had like the regular like this it's right here because I was using it to look at that's Miss V's octopus but anyway yeah so I looked at this for you know like length and stuff but I had this hat marked for the same price that I have like the Normville hat marked for. If y'all have been here, you've seen the Normville hat. I'll put that video below if you haven't, but it has like gnome houses and like little just cute things all around it. It's all just like decorated. And I had priced this one for the same as the other one. And my husband, like we didn't really, I didn't think that much about it. So I was like, no one's going to pay that. No one's going to want one of those. And that was like the hot item. Everyone, I mean, I had everyone oohed and awed over it. So I sold the one, potentially two more, we'll see. Um, and so now it's like, okay, the other one has all these like baubles and bits and fun things on it. This one's just like a, it's not plain Jane by any means, but it's just, you know, mushrooms. I need to charge different prices. Because that's what Derek looked at the hat and he was like, uh, all those buttons? He was like, that's the same? And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, you know, lesson learned. Now we know. Um, but I think... I just want to make some and take them and have them and then just like sell those still do custom orders if there's some like something in a particular type of a thing um but it'd be cool to just have some there too you know that way people, and then not take my gnome hats so much you know maybe i don't know we'll see i don't want norm's hat to get messed up so anyway 
Um, yeah, so there's that. So I have, so I had three commission or three, I had more than <coughs> three projects or three things that I sold at the craft fair. I had three like, custom order things. One of those done yarn for the other two. Cool. So that's exciting. Hopefully tutorial. We'll see. Um, if not, then I'll do one soon and maybe even in this one, because that would be really pretty in that hat too. Just saying. So other than that, yeah, we got to go to Spirit Halloween. <sighs> like if I, I love that store. It makes me so sad that it's not open year round, which would probably take the allure right out of it, but I don't know, would it? You know, I feel like I'd still be pretty dang into it. I mean, I get excited every time I walk into Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure I get just as excited every time I walked into Spirit Halloween. Oh, I love it in there. It's so good. And that little animatronics, you can like step on all things and Linda Blair's head'll spin because she's the exorcist and stuff. <laughs> or she's the girl from, she's, you know, in the exorcist. You wa we walked in and there was like this cool little like alien kind of dome thing and you could walk into it and like there were light bubbles kind of like lava lamp type things and you walk in and it makes noise. It was so fun. And uh, let's see, there was maybe two things that I wouldn't have purchased other than that I wanted everything in the store. That was pretty, pretty ridiculous. I was like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this because they have Beetlejuice stuff and Hocus Pocus stuff, you know. Spirit Halloween. It's all just I can decorate my whole house in that one store. And um I think I just said that, but I could. Um but yeah, the kiddos got their or well, two of them got their costumes. Squirrely Dan already had his whole entire costume except for his mask and like said at Joanne, he got a burlap some burlap material. He's gonna make his mask. It's after Halloween. Why not? He's Tommy from Fear Street. That's who he was being. Um, Finn worked today on Halloween, which kind of worked out that he got to go to Spirit Halloween and pick out a super cool costume because he's Beetlejuice and he got to wear it to work today and he looks so cool. If I put Squirrely Dan on my video the other day, but <laughs> I like wanted to put his picture up, but I'm not going to, but I can assure you he was standing back and I'm like, dude, you look just like Michael Keaton. That's so cool. And I was like, you gotta do your Riddle Juice voice all day. And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, you know, like whenever you're like, hi, like people walk in, just go, hey, <laughs> and he's just like, okay. He's like, hey, what y'all doing here? You want a sandwich? Anyway, we were giggling because he has his, he has his Beetlejuice hair and then he, his hat on over it or whatever, like his just said where he worked three times that was not smart high five to self i'll cut stuff out it's gonna sound real weird all right so anyway now you know why i'm gonna leave that part in that i said where he worked and i don't want anyway okay but yeah so he wore his costume to work and he has like I said the beetlejuice hair and he has a visor that he wears for work and so he put it on over the hair and it looked so good and so on his little he has his little name tag on there and that's what Derek and I were giggling it's like you need to change your name and like you know write that on there and I was like beetle like dot 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 because you know Beetlejuice can't say his own name and anyways and I was like beetle dot 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 and anyway you know and how he's like well you know but he can't say his name and I'm like you're right I was like you'd have to like draw a picture I was like you draw like a little bug in a cup or something and anyways and I don't know like bug juice <laughs> anyway but yeah we were we had a fun time with that giggling with that this morning but he looked so cool so that's where Derek's taking squirrely to or taking Finn to work uh B last year she was David S. Pumpkin because <laughs> why wouldn't you be just throw boxes of raisins at people um, if y'all have seen the SNL skit, then you know, he's like, raisins, he doesn't throw them at people, but he just doesn't want raisins for Halloween, which I feel like is a fair thing. Anyway, yeah, last year she was David as Pumpkin, this year she got like this spooky, wicked cool, vintage pumpkin mask. It looks just like the, I mean, it's like a 1950s style creepy pumpkin. It is the coolest and so she got that to wear with her David S. Pumpkin mask. So she's going to be like a spooky pumpkin this year. So they're going to look awesome. All three of them have insanely cool costumes. I don't know what we're doing. 
but something because they all are gonna look so cool so yeah um and like i said because today which i'll it's already over sorry y'all but today's the giveaway announcement i'm so excited i already know who won i guess i could tell y'all but you can also watch the last crochet tober video and just find out all right cool so yes so i already know who won the giveaway the 2000 subscriber plus crochet tober giveaway yay um and it's awesome i love doing it the way that i do it because i know the person that won and she's watched me for a really long time and commented for a really long time and sent me goodies for crochet and tell and so that's why i do it the way i do it because i know the people that actually watch me <laughs> get to be a part of the giveaway and it's fantastic so yes um i feel like that's all we still have a whole bunch of candy because we didn't do a trunk or treat so i was telling Derek also on the way home because like i said we live in the sticks um and the town that we went to is like 45 minutes away and that's what i was telling Derek, like on the way back to some little random town there was like trunk or treat you know tomorrow night blah 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 and i was like we think they'd let us just roll up there and like back in and open the trunk and hand out candy to people because yeah so we have all this candy and there it is so i don't think it's supposed to rain tonight either so or maybe whenever we go maybe we'll go trick-or-treating and just knock on people's doors and hand them candy that could be fun i've wanted to do that before i've seen a costume it's like a bunch of college kids and they made a door i think i mentioned this last year because it's just bucket list idol but they made a door like a cardboard so it was light and they carried it around and then like would knock on people's doors and whenever you open it you see someone else's door and so it's like a sign and it's like knock please and so you would knock or whatever and open the door and they're like hey like happy halloween and they would hand you candy that's so good so yeah um oh i got text from the hubby but ultimate halloween costume you know what i'm saying but yes you knock they open the door and they hand you candy i'm doing that one of these days so all right <laughs> oof okay i left really happy really whatever i got a text from my hubby i have this saying don't don't pop my bubble don't mess with my babies don't do it uh as i mentioned he's beetlejuice he has his thing he asked everything was um like approved he asked his boss if he could wear it if everything all those things and it's like absolutely not a problem we dress up here it is what it is blah 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 um he got to work i guess oh mama mama me just like Boof. okay mm. got to work was there two whole seconds walked in and some lady and her daughter were there apparently i guess and turned around and were like oh, He's going to get so much hair in the food. <sighs> like, I mean, it's a wig, ma'am. They don't wear hair nets there. People there have like long ponytails, long whatever, all of these things. It's not like, <clears throat> I don't know. It's my... It's Halloween, lady. It's like, you know? And anyway, yeah. Um, I have you walked in there with him or whatever, I guess. Like, just, well, because that's a whole other story. He walked him in because he needed to talk to other people about other, like, machine shopness, just stuff. Um, anyway, yeah, I heard the lady comment, and I guess he went up to Finn and was like, because okay this is what this is what is getting me because he heard her say that finn heard her say that walk to the back i mean he spent 40 minutes this morning getting ready i just said how cool he was how he looks just like michael keaton he wore his little thing on top looked amazing here's her say that walks right to the back takes his wig off like ma'am it's halloween <laughs> also he like said they don't wear hair nets there are people there that can just wear their hair down all the time like 
do you go to them and comment because i mean i don't know but yeah immediately like made him feel crummy which is what's making me upset and i guess his daddy went up to him and was like don't worry about people and what they say go put your stuff back you know you were you asked your boss everything was approved put your stuff back on that's ridiculous so, yeah it was the whole thing we went to halloween uh, spirit halloween to get his stuff all that you know and then he's there for two minutes and it's just oh people make me crazy anyway poor old dude that gummit yeah his daddy was there to be like uh who cares guess what they don't <laughs> don't worry about them so anyway um but yeah so i was just talking about really fun costumes and then <laughs> got a real crumb text so people suck i don't know it's like <laughs> anyway yeah all right um I mean, he looked amazing, like, two seconds in to make him feel bad. That just, that gummit. So, anyways, yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Hang on just a second. Okay. <laughs> anyway, text hubby back. Um, yes. Anyway, it's Halloween, you know? It's a one time. Just let him be Beetlejuice. Look just like Michael Keaton. <laughs> so anyway, just let it happen, ma'am. Just let it happen. Yeah, no, that's what. I, yeah, his. <sighs> he said it was all approved, everything else, and then just like to make him feel bad. I don't know. Whatever. People suck. All right. Um. So yeah, we did that. Spirit Halloween. Went to Joanne. Went to Target. Okay, Target, but you know, you put your pinky up. Went to Target as you do. Um, nothing too exciting there, but we went. They have like a Disney store inside of Target. It was really funny because we were giggling like it's inside of the dome. You can hear Disney music. And as soon as you stepped outside of the Disney realm, it was like back to Billie Eilish and stuff. <laughs> it was really funny. It's like inside the bubble, you can't even hear anything else. And we were giggling because it's like the center of the universe in Tulsa, Oklahoma or whatever, because supposedly... You can stand in the middle of it and like yell and people outside can't hear you. I think it's all a big fugazi. I'm just saying like I, I could hear everyone else. Supposedly you're talking to aliens and no one around you can hear you, but I could. But we were giggling that maybe it was like that inside of the Disney store. So we're like, hey, go see. And so I <laughs> Ben and B like step outside and I'm like, can you hear us? And they're like, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> it's turning off <laughs> people looking at us like what the heck but we like to have fun in stores so it is what it is but yeah i was like it's like its own little dome check it out and then we walked out and sure enough you couldn't hear the music there was a little bit of truth to it all so yeah <laughs> good times but yeah anyway it was an awesome day they went and got to do fun stuff and it's today out and about a little road trip so i got my hat finished while we were gone i'm gonna deliver that to her here in just a little bit so anyway all right so oh, I, I better go so that way i can film the hat <laughs> so before i have to take it to her so all right so thank you all so very much for watching listen to my mom rant i appreciate that <laughs> uh, like i get it but also you don't have to say that the first four seconds the kid was there jeez he's 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 just a kid like let him breathe ma'am through your nose okay so anyway all right so thank you all so very much for watching i hope you all have a wonderfully wonderfully blessed day please stay safe i'll talk to you very soon